Classic cars amaze enthusiasts with timeless style, pure driving thrills, exclusivity, and masterful craftsmanship. While not solely about speed, history showcases a fascination with velocity. But there's something special about the powerful V12-driven classic gems, symbolizing prestige and everlasting charm. I present you some of the greatest V12 cars from the classic era. The 1947 Ferrari 125S, the brand's inaugural model, introduced the iconic Gio Aquino Colombo-designed V12 engine. Despite its brief existence, this powerhouse became a Ferrari mainstay for four decades. Starting with a 1.5-litre swept volume, the V12 evolved to a mighty 5.0-litre, delivering over 340 horsepower in the 412 model. Fascinatingly, the numeric nomenclature of each car reflected the individual cylinder capacity. This pioneering evolution showcased Ferrari's enduring commitment to engineering excellence and cemented the 125S as a pivotal milestone in the brand's illustrious history. During the 1930s, US luxury car makers like Pierce Arrow, Auburn and Lincoln adopted V12 engines, while Cadillac ventured into V12 and V16 powertrains. However, Packard had already pioneered the path in 1916 with its 85-horsepower, 6.9-litre twin-six engine, predating the trend by decades. This innovation preluded the widespread V12 adoption, showcasing Packard's early commitment to powerful and advanced engine designs, solidifying its influential role in shaping the automotive landscape. The Lamborghini 350 GT marked the inaugural leap into production for the Italian Mark. This daring debut was a pivotal step that propelled Lamborghini to the revered global status it enjoys six decades down the road. The installation of a 3.5-litre V12 engine in this model laid the foundation for a winning formula that has since fueled numerous legendary Lamborghinis. As an emblematic Grand Tourer, it reshaped the landscape of an entire era of automobiles, standing today as a prize gem among classic car aficionados. With a scant production run of just 120 units over a span of two years, its rarity further cements its status as a coveted classic within automotive circles. Following their triumph with the XK twin cam straight six engines during the 1960s, Jaguar ventured into new territory by crafting an all aluminum block V12 engine, hailed by many as one of the foremost powerhouses of the 1970s and 1980s. This innovative engine not only enabled the E Type to navigate through stringent emission regulations, but also placed Jaguar in the same league as Ferrari and Lamborghini in terms of cylinder count. The V12 power plant offered an exquisite blend of seamless performance and refined prestige ensuring the E-Type retained its competitive edge. Even half a century later, this car stands as a wise investment, offering remarkable value in the realm of 12-cylinder grand touring, presenting a tempting proposition when compared to other vehicles in its class. In the era before the iconic Ferrari 250 GTO stole the spotlight, Ferrari set its sights on conquering the American automotive market during the 1950s. Their endeavor birthed the Pinion Farina designed Super America and Superfast models, manufactured between 1956 and 1966. Woven into automotive history, these cars earned a reputation as the pinnacle of street Ferraris, hailed for their monstrous power and lightning fast speed. Culminating the series was the Ferrari 500 Superfast, marking the swan song of coach built Ferrari coupes. Its standout feature was the Colombo and Lampridi engineered 5 litre V12, generating an impressive 400 horsepower, a testament to Ferrari's relentless pursuit of automotive excellence. Even after more than three decades, the Bugatti EB110 continues to command attention with its awe inspiring performance. This 90s supercar not only marked a pivotal moment, but also laid the groundwork for the emergence of modern hypercars all thanks to its monstrous power nestled beneath the hood. At the heart of this marvel was a 3.5-litre quad-turbocharged V12 engine, flexing its muscles to produce a remarkable 603 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. Coupled with a featherweight carbon fiber monocoque chassis, the Bugatti EB110 boasted a lightning-fast sprint to 62 miles per hour in a mere 3.6 seconds firmly securing its position as the swiftest production car of its era. 
TVR has a history of crafting lightweight sports cars with formidable engines, among which stands the high-octane Cerbera Speed 12. Between 1996 and 1998, the British manufacturer ventured into creating three units of this vehicle, envisioning it as the pinnacle of road-going performance to rival the likes of the McLaren F1 while simultaneously serving as the foundation for their GT1 endurance race car. Despite its ambitions, the Cerbera Speed 12's sheer potency proved to be a challenge for both roads and tracks alike, leading to its unfortunate absence from production lines. The monstrous 7.7-litre V12 engine reportedly shattered TVR's dyno, surpassing the 1,000 horsepower mark, showcasing a level of power that pushed the boundaries beyond what was manageable on most surfaces. In celebration of their 50th anniversary, Ferrari introduced the legendary F50, a sleek two-seater sports car housing a 4.7-litre naturally aspirated V12 engine. Derived from the powerhouse of the 1990s Ferrari 641 F1 racer, this engine produced a magnificent symphony through its exhaust notes. With a robust output of 512 horsepower at its disposal, the F50 boasted impressive acceleration, clocking in a 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint in 3.8 seconds, all powered through a six-speed manual gearbox. Pushing boundaries further, it cruised its way to a top speed of 202 miles per hour, encapsulating the essence of speed and precision synonymous with Ferrari's engineering prowess. While the association between Rolls-Royce and V12 engines appears natural, the classic Rolls models exclusively featured V12 power for a brief stint from 1936 to 1939. The formidable Phantom III diverged from its predecessor, swapping the straight six for a colossal 7.3-litre pushrod Vive 8 engine. This massive powerhouse gained cinematic acclaim, notably assisting the infamous Auric Goldfinger in transporting gold bullion up Switzerland's Furka Pass in the eponymous 1964 Bond film. Despite Rolls-Royce's historical link with V12S, the Phantom III's departure from this trend showcased the brand's adaptability, reinforcing its legacy of engineering innovation and iconic contributions to both automotive and cinematic history. In 1998, Jaguar teased car enthusiasts with the XJ220 concept, an ambitious vision boasting promises of four-wheel drive, propelled by a formidable 6.2-liter DOHC iteration of the TWR-developed V12 engine. This powerhouse had propelled the XJR9 to Le Mans glory earlier that year, offering the allure of reaching a breathtaking 220 mph top speed. However, when the production version hit the market four years later, it underwent a transformation. The promised V12 was replaced by a twin-turbocharged V6 engine, and the dream of four-wheel drive was set aside in favour of rear-wheel drive. Despite these alterations, the production model still managed to impress, achieving a verified maximum speed of 217 miles per hour, coming remarkably close to the initial lofty goal. Jaguar's XJ220, though altered from its original concept, remained a formidable force in the realm of high-performance automobiles. Crafted to meet FIA endurance racing regulations, the limited batch of 30 road iterations of the CLK GTR unleashed a robust 603 horsepower and 572 pound-feet of torque channeled solely to the rear wheels by virtue of a potent 6.9-litre V12 engine. As per Mercedes's specifications, the GTR showcased remarkable performance capabilities, sprinting from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a mere 3.8 seconds and achieving a remarkable top speed of 214 miles per hour. This formidable machine not only complied with racing standards, but also boasted staggering power figures, cementing its status as a road-legal powerhouse that effortlessly blended trackworthy performance with unparalleled speed and agility. The Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR, with its awe-inspiring specifications, epitomized the pinnacle of automotive engineering prowess and became an icon in the realm of high-performance supercars. Despite the unfulfilled V12 vision in the production XJ220, Jaguar didn't disappoint, introducing an even more audacious supercar, 
enter the XJR-15, a beast fashioned around the chassis of the victorious XJR-9 from Le Mans, encased in bodywork meticulously crafted by Peter Stevens and fueled by a commanding 6.0-litre V12 engine generating 450 horsepower. Jaguar Sport, between 1990 and 1992, meticulously assembled a mere 53 of these automotive marvels. The XJR-15's limited production run solidified its status as a rare gem in automotive history, embodying the fusion of racing pedigree with raw power and aesthetics. Despite the XJ220's deviation from the V12 promise, the XJR-15 emerged as a testament to Jaguar's unwavering pursuit of engineering excellence, and their unyielding commitment to crafting exhilarating, limited-production supercars. Back in the 90s, BMW dared to push the boundaries with the 850 CSI, a gem often overlooked even by the younger breed of BMW enthusiasts. This exceptional Grand Tourer was a standout in the Bimmer lineup, boasting a robust 5.6-litre V12 engine delivering 380 horsepower and 405 pound-feet of torque. Picture a time when speed met elegance. The 850 CSI soared as the fastest 8-series model in the 90s, zipping from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 5.7 seconds. Complementing its power, this beauty also sported a seamlessly smooth 6-speed manual gearbox. The E31 had all the makings of a sensation, but remained a hidden treasure, now cherished as a prized possession among collectors, its rarity underlined by a mere 1,510 units ever produced. The Lamborghini Miura stands tall among the most legendary automobiles in history, recognized for carving a distinct niche. Regarded by many as the pioneering supercar, it set the standard, laying the groundwork for every performance-driven vehicle fixated on reaching unprecedented speeds. Positioning its engine in the midsection, the Miura housed an impressive 3.9-litre V12 powerhouse, unleashing a formidable 345 horsepower. This robust engine facilitated lightning-quick 0 to 60 miles per hour dashes in a mere 6.7 seconds. What made the Miura truly exceptional was its innovative design, merging the engine and gearbox into a single casting, a feature that propelled it to claim the title of the fastest production car of its time. Aston Martin stepped into the V12 engines in 1999, debuting a robust 5.9-litre V12 motor for its flagship model, the DB7, marking their first venture into this powerful territory. This engine was a result of collaboration between Aston Martin, Ford and Cosworth, emerging as one of the most widespread 12-cylinder engines, powering models from the 1998 DB7 Vantage to recent additions like the AMR Rapide and Zagato Vanquish. The 1999 DB7 V12 stood as a pinnacle achievement for the British automaker, boasting an impressive 420 horsepower, a noteworthy feat for its era. The manual gearbox variant showcased exceptional performance, achieving a remarkable top speed of 186 miles per hour. Aston Martin's initiation into the V12 domain with the DB7 V12 not only marked a milestone, but also solidified its reputation for crafting high-performance luxury vehicles. Yamaha, renowned for their expertise in superbikes, had already ventured into supplying engines for F1 teams by the 1990s. Hence, the notion of Yamaha delving into crafting an unrestricted, high-performance supercar wasn't entirely far-fetched. Similar to the concept behind the F50, Yamaha's envisioned OX 9911 was designed as a tandem two-seat vehicle set to utilize an engine derived from an authentic F1 V12, specifically a 70-degree 3.5-liter V12 powertrain. Regrettably, only a scarce few prototypes came to fruition before the project met an untimely demise in the early 90s, truncating Yamaha's aspiration of producing this cutting-edge supercar. Despite its limited existence, the OX 9911 concept stands as a testament to Yamaha's ambition to merge F1-inspired technology into the realm of high-performance road cars. For a span of four years, Meticulous planning, design and craftsmanship culminated in what enthusiasts widely hail as the zenith of 90s engineering and an automotive marvel of unparalleled stature. McLaren F1, the brainchild of Gordon Murray, emerged as an engineering spectacle, shattering multiple world records and securing its place as one of the most esteemed automobiles ever envisioned. 
Nestled beneath its hood resided a 6.1-litre V12 BMW engine boasting aluminum block and heads, delivering an awe-inspiring 618 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. This powerhouse catapulted the McLaren F1 into a league of its own, earning the distinguished title of being the fastest naturally aspirated road car ever conceived, a testament to its unrivaled prowess and engineering finesse.